Hello, it's Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project, uh, bringing you a uh, video on the new release uh, uh, update on WKO. Um, it, this is for uh, build 576, which just came out today, which is December uh, 17th, 2020. And I want to just show you a few features as it relates to running. Um, uh, first of all, I apologize for the uh, the way the, the the screen appears. I I had to um, shift the WKO up to block athlete's name just for privacy's sake. Um, but we'll uh, still be able to get this across. But uh, apologize for that. Uh, you know. Uh, dark screen at the bo bottom and uh, anyway so what uh, WKO did today they released uh, uh, their build 576 which um, among other things which uh, will be unveiled uh, over the next uh, few days and weeks etc um, the build includes run sport types um, now, I'm going to show you that in a second, but first I want to show you uh, what it looks like before the, we've done anything with the run sport types. Normally, up here, if you want to see your hero bar metrics, you can select um, what you want. And right now, it's it's I'm selecting run, right? And it shows for this runner the their run hero bar metrics. Um, the uh, and also across over here, uh, run base metrics. Um, also, notice here again, this is before we've done any selection of, of the run sport types. These are various icons that, uh, if it, depending on what you select, if I select this, notice um, it and unselect that, notice the graphs here, this is a training load dashboard, or um, the duration base, if you look in your power duration curve, there's nothing appearing here because it's cycling. This is not a cyclist, he is a runner. So when I select that icon, all the running uh, information, all the running data for the, the last 90 days in this case, that because what I have selected in that right hand explorer, um, all the data is drawn in to generate this uh, power duration curve or your um, performance manager chart or any other uh, chart that you happen to have up. Um, so the uh, let's go into the running sport types, which were introduced. They weren't available prior to this. So I'm going to click over here on workouts to get to the, the individual workout level. And I'm going to go to details where we see all the basic details of the run. This one is uh, listed as a, um, let me scroll up and get to some more current stuff. This one's listed as a, uh, as a run, but uh, we can change how that's designated. And there's all these different uh, sports and sport types. So bike is, has had for quite a while, has had, Road bike, mountain bike, indoor bike. Well, run has always been run or walk, basically. But now with Build 576, they've added indoor run and trail run. So you can designate runs, uh, whether it's your basic run on asphalt or pavement or track or what have you, um, or indoor on a treadmill, or uh, a trail run if you're if you're a mountain runner or trail runner. Um, and you want to see, remember what we showed you earlier, you want to see those athlete level chart charts um, um, generate from just that data. So I can change this run from run to trail run. And you can see the icon changes. Icon changes over here as well, designating that run. Um, or I could change it to indoor, a treadmill run. See how the icon changes here, icon changes here. Um, just a note, um, 
in beta testing, when I was beta testing this, I found that that most uh, treadmill runs that came in when I dropped the data in, most of them I had to manually change them from from they, they came in natively looking like this run, and I had to change them to uh, indoor run to reflect that it's a treadmill run. Um, that said, I had a few files on, on at least one athlete where they came in and automatically uh, were designated as indoor run. What I suspect, what I suspect is, but I haven't verified, is that the, uh, if the athlete had on their watch indoor mode, then perhaps it came over and was recognized uh, in WKO and automatically designated this uh, indoor run. So if if your watch has a trail mode or indoor mode, maybe that will allow them to to, to come in and automatically be designated when they're imported into uh, WKO. I don't know enough of that at this point in time. Most, as I said, most of the runs I manually uh, convert over, but I, I can verify that there are some that come in and are automatically designated, and I suspect it's the watch mode that uh, does the trick. So uh, let me uh, just show, I'm going to uh, convert all of these runs right now to treadmill, even though they're not all treadmill runs, but I'm going to convert them all uh, to a uh, treadmill run. So I can come back to the uh, the athlete page, and um, and show you what happens there. So just a couple more of these, and uh, we should have enough to to generate a um, a power duration curve. And let's just just finish them up and I'm going to go through December uh, all the way through December 1st. So that way I can remember to change them back uh, when I'm done with this. All right. So I've changed, uh, you know, about 10 days or so, um, two weeks worth of, of runs. Now, if I come back to the athlete level, I'm going to deselect this. Now, first of all, if I come here, I can change this and look at how that changed. The, so the hero bar metrics will change because now I have the option to select just the indoor runs and I'll just generate those hero bar metrics for the indoor runs. Or I can do all runs um, and or, or just running, which is all the other ones in this athlete's uh, database, or I can combine them together. Right, which combines trail run, uh, indoor run, and regular run. Um, so I can do that, and that changes the hero bar metrics. Again, it changes all of these guys here. Um, let's go back and do this. So it changes that. All right, I'm just going to come back and reset it to run. Um, but also notice here, so it now allows that uh, we can we can select uh, based on run type. Now in beta testing, um, there we go. So I just selected run, and you'll notice. Uh, well, let's do this. Okay. So this is what uh, I had the same issue in beta testing, and this is something that they'll they'll have to work on. Um, notice how I'm having trouble uh, multi-selecting. So what I'm going to do really quick quickly is I'm going to um, uh, close this and then come back and um, open it. There we go. 
Sorry about that. So when I do that, now it, these icons are working properly. All right, so now I can come back and continue the, uh, the demonstration. So um, again, when you, uh, when you go and shift runs that are already in the database, like I did earlier, and you change them, their designation, um, for this, these icons to work on the athlete level, these icons, you're going to have to um, uh, close, close it and reopen WKO for these to work properly. And thereafter, it will be fine. Um, so the, uh, if I select both icons, I now have all the running uh, data. And I'm just going to come back down here. This is, all, this is just daily um, TSS training stress score daily training stress, stress score. Watch that, okay? When I um, deselect the run, notice it's only the ones that I changed over. It's only that last couple of weeks since uh, December 1st. Um, it, those now appear, and those were all ones that I changed to treadmill. So right now, because only treadmill is selected, then, um, the, the metrics that you're seeing, the charts, um, are only going to reflect or draw in all treadmill or indoor runs in the nine, last 90 days. Um, and that also works the same way for um, the power duration curve. So um, it all, this power duration curve is generated uh, only from the indoor runs that I've designated since December 1. Um, and they occur in the last 90 days, of course. Um, and then when I select this, I get everything combined. So notice it went from, it's CP or, or MFTP went from 359, um, 354, treadmill only. Those are just the, the ones that I converted over. Um, throw everything together. Together, it's 359. If I exclude that and just have a regular run, it's 360. So notice how these charts change. So now you can essentially, this filters um, the data that you're going to apply to the chart within this filter, which is the last 90 days. Um, so this is a great feature, again, being able to come in here and, and select what run type you want. So if you're a trail runner that does some of your run on track and, and asphalt, you can deselect those, look at just your, your stuff on trails and, and um, look at your, your FTP just for the, your trail running. Um, or same thing if you're uh, a tread, uh, on the treadmill. You do some running on a treadmill, some outside. You can, you can filter now because you can label these workouts. Great uh, feature add. Um, and um, we'll uh, talk about other stuff uh, that can be done in this build uh, later on as, uh, as we uh, um, bring things out in this build. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry about the switch over and sorry about the, uh, the alignment of the screen. Hopefully uh, this came across uh, well enough for you to understand this new uh, feature list in, in the build and uh, look forward to talking to you next time. Bye-bye.